Hey everyone, my name is Josh and this is a brief overview on PSTN conferencing within Microsoft Teams. Public preview, important thing to note there. Uh, very quietly, a couple days ago now, PSTN conferencing public preview made its way into the Microsoft Teams client. Uh, we began to see little tweets out there showing examples of what this looked like and then a really good blog on the blogs.proficient.com highlighting all the various things you need to know about it and observations that they made there. And today I just want to walk you through what this looks like and what it means for you. Um, first off, let's go over to the actual client itself. Here we go. We are in the Microsoft Teams desktop client and I'm in the meetings section. Now, before we go into what this looks like, any user that wants to see this functionality is going to need to already be licensed with PSDN conferencing uh, for Skype for Business Online in Office 365. If you don't have PSDN conferencing licensing, meetings will look normal for you just the way they would do and you don't see any options for PSDN conferencing. So an important thing to note. Um, the user that I'm using here, Stimpy, some of you may recognize Stimpy from a once popular show, a uh, cartoon, uh, many, many years ago. Uh, Stimpy does have PSDN conferencing, and so we will be using him to test this out. First up, we click on Schedule Meeting over in the Meetings tab. Notice there's no dial-in conferencing information here right now. We're going to say PSDN conferencing test number two. We're gonna leave all the other stuff alone. I've, my, my calendar is pretty wide open for Stimpy. We don't need to put any details about the meeting. We do need to invite somebody though. So let's invite, there we go, Ren. We're gonna invite Ren because Ren and Stimpy are good buds and wanna be on this meeting together. Let's go ahead and say schedule meeting. Again, no PSDN conferencing details show up or options to include it or anything like that. We say schedule meeting. Now, by default, because I am licensed, for PSTN conferencing, or rather Stimpy is, we see the details of the meeting after creating it. And as we scroll down past all the usual settings, right below our normal join link down here, we've got this little area. Can't join online? Join by phone instead. Uh, we've got the Los Angeles default number there. That is one of Microsoft's default numbers they include. And it's just, I never set anything custom up for Stimpy. So that's what they put there. Our conference ID, and then a join by phone is available as a public preview feature disclaimer at the bottom. There's our confirmation. This is a public preview feature that has been released. Now, we've got a couple links up here. If you need a local number, get one here. And if you've forgotten your dial-in pin, you can reset it. I have opened up these pages down here. Let's pull them up. First up, dial-in conferencing numbers locally. Notice we've got our Microsoft Teams branding up top, that blurple color up there, and a couple different menu options available over here. Also, the sign in to reset your pin over here. As we scroll down, we see we have a great number of countries that have local dial in conferencing phone numbers available. Uh, down here, we've got that default one for Los Angeles that we saw before. Uh, we've got a number of others in here as well for the US and like I said, across the across the world there. So that's that's pretty cool. If we were to go to the dial-in conferencing page, we do need to sign in on this page. You can see we're signed in as Stimpy, Stimpy up here. Um, here's where we can reset our pin. Now, this is Skype for Business settings up here. Uh, and the color on the side here is is an interesting color to say the least. Uh, we are in our dial-in conferencing settings setting right here. This is just where we can change our pin, and this now applies to uh, Microsoft Teams. These other settings, these have to do with our, uh, you know, calling features, voicemail, uh, when it comes to your other Skype for Business settings there. But this dial-in conferencing is the important part for resetting our pin and using it within Microsoft Teams. Um, that's 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 what those two different links are. That's how we can manage our dial-in conferencing pin and dial-in conferencing local numbers. And here is what a meeting looks like. So as we send this out, we send it to guests or whoever, uh, we now have the option to dial in to a Microsoft Teams meeting using a PSTN number. That is all I have for today. Just wanted to share that nifty little addition to the Microsoft Teams client. This is a very welcome thing. We're all happy to see it there. 
Um, this is right before Microsoft Ignite kicks off, so stay tuned. I'm sure we'll have many of other fun and interesting topics to talk about in the coming days. Thanks for tuning in, and adios.